Hello Pisces, thank you so much for being here you guys and an early happy birthday to you. I hope all of you guys have beautiful birthdays. I'm excited for Pisces season, even though it's supposed to be crazy. <laughs> but please forgive me guys, I know I'm late, I haven't been feeling the best, and please forgive my voice, but thank you so much for being here. Alright Pisces, who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you and then you have why. I like why. This is talking about asking yourself the deeper questions. It says, understanding the motives that are driving your intentions right now. Why are you doing something? Why are you changing into a new person? You know, why is a certain situation making you want to become someone new? Now, what's funny is that with who in the world are you, the reverse meaning says refusing to question yourself. So, Anything that you're doing to change yourself right now, you have to be clear on what your motives and intentions are. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? But I like this one because it talks about a fascination with getting to know yourself again, becoming a new person. And it's you wanting to change, not just on the surface, but on a deeper level. But you are becoming a new person, but it's about understanding why, right? Why are you doing this, Pisces? All right, Pisces, here we go. Here is your overall, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so giving and receiving. Equal give and take, balanced situations. For some of you, it may be receiving assistance. For some of you, you may be giving that assistance. But cash flow does come up with this too. But I, I love the hands with the flowers. Like, you know, it, this is what I'm receiving. It's like you're showing the beauty that you're receiving right now. Now, in the past, the Nine of Cups, very nice. So, in the past with the Nine of Cups, we're talking about, first of all, being happy with what you have, being content with the emotional fulfillment that you have. Others of you, this is like a wish that you have been putting out there, right? Or wanting something here, wanting to have your wishes fulfilled. For some of you, you've already had that, you know? And now we're looking at what you're receiving from the wish that you've put out. Oh my God, what the hell, Pisces, in the present, the Seven of Swords. Uh, uh. All right. Oh, goodness. And I want to see what's going on in your environment. But again, intentions not being clear and questioning why, right? With the Seven of Swords, we could be talking about you being in a situation right now where, you know, you have to be quiet about what your plans are. For some of you, you may be looking to get out of a situation unscathed, you know, which can be the case. Or for some of you, yeah, the Seven of Swords is going to be talking about somebody who may have been trying to get away with something or may have taken advantage of you because, you know, we're blinded by what we want with the Nine of Cups. You know, but I, I don't know. I mean, with the Six of Pentacles, yeah, we could be talking about, you know, one-sided situation. But I don't know. I'm looking at that and I'm going, you're looking at what you're receiving out of this, but maybe what you're getting is a lot better than what you wished for in the beginning, especially if you're dealing with the Seven of Swords in the present moment. You know, but we'll see here. Future conditions, the sun, and again, the hands are open, right? New energy, new life, you know, and receiving clarity for sure. But new new energy is what I feel like more so than anything because of who in the world are you and, and something that you're receiving that is making you change and maybe not wanting to deal with situations that are sketchy or on the down low with the Seven of Swords, right? Now, this could definitely be, though, that something that, you know, unfortunately, right, like, I don't want to blame you for this, but with the Nine of Cups being the past, like, this is what you asked for. It may not be exactly what you wanted, but you wanted it enough that it allowed this situation to happen. You understand what I'm saying with the Seven of Swords being in the present moment? It allowed for, you know, someone to do something that you, isn't good, right? Like, you know, you can't sugarcoat the Seven of Swords. It's shitty. But this is you becoming aware of what may have been going on, right? A situation that's being brought to light with the sun. But you're okay, though. And that's what I want to say. Like, even though this happened, you're fine. Oh, oh your best path to follow justice. 
Oh boy. All right. Now, the Seven of Swords could represent a couple of different things here. You know, we could be talking about somebody who has taken something from you, and clearly they're going to have to pay it back. Or, you know, we could be talking about someone who has taken advantage of, you know, your generosity, for sure, right? But with justice being your best path to follow, this is, we just want to correct the situation and have it over with. Like, I feel finality with this. And I don't think that you're going to be open to these type of situations again or to a person who feels like they can take advantage of you, right? Now, the Seven of Swords could also be like somebody stealing your ideas, things like that, right? But I want to see what's going on here. But this is definitely saying that we need to correct the issue. But the thing is, is, right, like accountability and that's where i was saying that i didn't want to blame you for this but the thing is is you put the wish out there for this and now you know this is kind of what you're dealing with but the situation will be corrected right but understanding why it happened i think is what's going to help you moving forward and being open to receive you know better things with the sun and the six of pentacles but yeah if somebody's taking something from you they're going to have to pay it back i mean just straight up you know, and you may have to seek that justice in this case, meaning that you may have to take someone to court, you know, and this could be like civil. In your environment, the Hierophant. <clears throat> Let me just say that with justice and the Hierophant, if you're dealing with somebody who thought that they were going to get away with something, it ain't happening. It, it's not going to happen. The Hierophant, though, we could be talking about somebody who went against traditional value with the Seven of Swords. Somebody in a relationship absolutely could be, you know, doing something that they shouldn't be. And it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, but this is something that should not have been kept hidden or shouldn't be being done in the first place. But... I also look at the Hierophant in your environment, and I think this is a big lesson learned for some of you, especially if you've been, you know, a little bit too giving to someone who had no intentions of paying it back or, you know, has completely taken advantage of you. But yeah, they're, the, whatever is going on here, they're not getting away with it at all. At all. Everything comes out in the open here. There is a need to correct the situation. And then you have the Hierophant where it's like, yeah, understanding. Understanding of the difficulty you've just been through, right? But commitment, commitments being broken, you know, traditional values not being respected for sure. Okay, your hopes and your fears, the Ten of Cups. If this is about a family situation, this could be one of those things where you're worried about how that's going to destroy relationships within a family unit with the Ten of Cups. But for some of you, you know, this is about hoping for, you know, a, a happy outcome, right? Now, for some of you, you may be in, and this is going to be very specific and only for some of you, okay? There is a want or a desire with the Nine of Cups to have some kind of emotional fulfillment. And that wish is being put out there. With the Seven of Swords, we're having to do things on the down low. We're not respecting traditional values here. Something cannot be put out in the open, and this could definitely be about you being involved with a situation with somebody who may be married or where, you know, we're not really discussing, you know, the kind of relationship that we're getting involved with. But, you know, clearly this would be like cheating in a marriage, right, for some of you. With the sun, we're talking about everything coming out in the open here. But the thing is, is we want to correct the situation, but that's because you want to receive what you wanted in the first place. And I don't think that this is the situation that you wanted. What you wanted is the happily ever after. Okay. And that's very specific for some of you, you know, so if we are talking about a relationship here, I almost feel like for Pisces, this is going to be a situation where it's all or nothing. We can't continue to do things like this in secret. 
you know, because the truth eventually comes out with the Seven of Swords anyway. But, you know, going back to the family situation, right? Like, and, and with the Hierophant, mm, yeah. But the thing is, is that this isn't something that you don't know about, you know? No, something new could be happening here with this situation, though, with the sun. And it may be, like, changing things in a way where you can start working toward, you know, having uh, an actual, like, happy relationship and not having to worry about, like, them or you being involved somewhere else. Very specific, though. That's very specific for some of you. And these situations are never easy to deal with, right? Now, for some of you, if you're wishing for something here with the Seven of Swords, if you're not talking about it because you don't want to make a definite commitment on it, then eventually something is going to have to be brought out with the sun. But I still see it as a good thing, you know. But we need to make sure that things are fair and balanced, right? But what you're hoping for here is... A, a favorable outcome, so to speak, overall happiness. Now, if this is about somebody who stole something from you, you just want, you know, security back when it comes to your overall happiness, right? Wow, Pisces. And then coming out the King of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you become emotionally open or available or somebody else's and there is support right? I mean, look at all of it. It's just this going on right here that we need to fix. So we put a wish out there for a relationship, right? And understanding here. And I do think that this is going to have to do with love for some of you with all the fucking cups that are showing up. Then you have the sun and the ace of cups. Uh -huh. All right. Wanting to have an understanding with somebody. No, you know, again, if we're going back to the general here and I'm being so specific, this could be about wanting to come to an understanding with somebody, especially within your family. But unfortunately, somebody is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. They know it's not right with the devil. With seven of swords, we're just, you know, sh we're doing things on the down low here. We're not talking about it, right? But with the Hierophant, you know, that's, that's an issue, especially with the devil, right? But for a lot of you, there may be an unhealthy attachment to wanting to have a relationship with somebody that is probably committed somewhere else. But the thing is, is if we correct the situation or if the situation has been corrected, right? And fairness and balance has been restored. Are you open to, you know, give of yourself, or is this person saying, look, I'm free now. I want to give, right? And then you have the sun. I mean, hands are open here. And you have all of this, like, energy and beauty. And then you have the Ace of Cups. I mean, look at it. Wow, Pisces. <laughs> and some of you are becoming a completely different person right now. But understanding intention and intentions and motives are, you know, what's important here. Why are you doing this? Is it because you're in love? Some of you may be asking yourselves that, right? But with the Ace of Cups coming out, there is that opportunity to start this happily ever after right here. Possibly with someone where there are romantic feelings. I mean, come on. The King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, right? Do I have to say anything else? <laughs> the Devil, though, and the issue in the present moment, that is what needs to be corrected. If you do that and you take care of it, where you come out at looks really good for those of you who are looking for relationships right now. But you may have to be okay with the fact that, you know, things are kind of like shh here until we figure things out, you know. And I, I don't condone cheating, but the thing is, is right, the heart wants what it wants, but it's not something that should continue in that way. You know, we're either going to do something about this or we're just going to let it go, right? But believe me, no judgment. So if we release the negative attachments, there is no reason why you shouldn't see prosperity with this situation or with someone now, with detachment and release, I mean, that's straight up. 
once you detach yourself from the negativity, it's going to be able, it's going to be easier for you to be able to release it, right? But it's great to see prosperity following that, especially with the Six of Pentacles, because it's like, I'm free now, I'm open for this equal give and take. And that may be the person you're dealing with, though. Now, for others of you, you may be finding out about, you know, especially if you're married right now, that your partner may have done something that, you know, was against what, you know, you had expected of them. And that's because there is a, a want here with the Nine of Cups, something that needs to be fulfilled, right? But the situation will be corrected with justice. And I think that, you know, things are going to get better. And I definitely see a reconnection for those of you who are already in a relationship, especially with the Ten of Cups being hopes and fears. We don't want anything to disturb overall happiness. For others of you, going back to the general here, if something has been taken from you, it is a lesson learned, but you are going to receive payback for sure. But there is definitely, you know, some support here, a better understanding of kind of what has happened, you know, the negative situation, but it's opening up an opportunity for you to find, you know, your happy, your happiness again, right? And security with your overall happiness. But yeah. Oh, good Lord. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Holy crap, Pisces. <laughs> what did you get me into? <laughs> oh, so appreciate the moments that you have with the situation, right? Because as long as you're patient, you're going to get a chance to know somebody very well, very, very well. And there is going to be a new start here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is going to be one of those ones where you guys are going to have to let me know. It's a little bit too specific for me, but I think somebody might have needed to hear this. You know, especially for those of you who are dealing with situations like this, I can't tell you how many times I've heard this scenario before. You know, we're in love, but there's commitment somewhere else or attachment somewhere else or somebody else is married, but we want to be together, you know? Now is the time to get those situations sorted out. And if you're waiting for somebody else to do it, I think that they will. And I think that that's where the emotional availability is coming through with the King of Cups. But yeah, I, I would say that for the last part of February here, this may be a time of uncertainty because of the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. But I would say that in future conditions, if you have patience and you let go of the negative attachments, that, you know, thing, things will prosper, right? And then you have the Ace of Cups coming out. It's, it's a beautiful reading. It's just, it kind of feels bittersweet, you know? But the heart wants what it wants, right? And you come in with that with the Nine of Cups anyway. 